Abby, Betty, I'm so happy to chat with you both about the show. The final season, it's phenomenal. I loved all the episodes so far. It has been so intense for both Kathy and Wright. And I'm wondering, what was the biggest surprise about your characters this year that you never imagined coming? Uh, I think for me personally, I didn't see... Kathy getting caught up in his world. And, you know, in season one, they were so separate, what he did and and, and the life that he was leading when, you know, outside of their relationship. Um, it was, it's, yeah, it was just, it was so cool to just be in it for a minute. Yeah. Um, also, Betty uh, Wright is in a tough position this year with the confirmation hearing and her hands are tied with a lot of what's happening with Jack. Can you tease, you know, what her direction is going to look like this year? Oh wow, it's 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 a bit challenging without giving any spoilers. Um, but we do see that she leaves the ivory castle of uh, the CIA and goes out into the into the world. Um, and so that's kind of, I think, intriguing. And and within that, uh, as she's having this sit down with the president, Nigerian president, she they that's it's a really interesting conversation where they explore topics that I was surprised. I was like, this is the Jack Ryan show. <laughs> and we're talking about being, you know, black. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's great. And I think the audience hopefully will be sort of like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. or like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. and Abby, um, Kathy is back. And I know a lot of fans are really excited. Uh, we're, when we're looking at the original books and then the movies, it's also Jack's last chance to make things right with her. So what can you share about the relationship this season and the tests they'll be going through? So in this season, we come into it and they've already decided to, to be together. So to give their relationship a second go, I think at the end of season one, it was open-ended and, and, and not, they weren't entirely committed to each other. So it's kind of cool. Straight off the bat, we have two people that we want to see together that are together, that actively together. And it's really yeah. sweet. Yeah. Uh, and Betty, I love how you um, share a lot of scenes with uh, Wendell's Greer this season. Uh, how has that relationship grown to what it is versus, you know, season three when you guys basically all first met? <laughs> right. It didn't seem like we were all in each other's corner at no. first. Well, you know, Greer and Ryan. Yeah. They're two peas in a pod, but I was the the foil and the sort of adversary, so to speak. Uh, but here at the top of this season, after what they were all went through last season, uh, we see that they're almost, especially with Wright and Greer, uh, there's one really touching scene. There's a couple of them and, and we see that they're almost family mm -hmm. and to see his family, his actual family and how complicated that is, that reality is, I don't know. There's just a really beautiful juxtaposition of the the career family, the work family, and the family family um, that I think is quite, quite lovely and yeah, real. I think one of the interesting things about watching this season was that there was the theme of family permeating in every um, scene, like every episode. And it was like found family. It was making a family like Jack trying to get back with Kathy. And then obviously we saw Greer and we saw little elements also of, um, you know, right. She had somebody, but we don't know much about it. So, you know, with that sort of family aspect, obviously I feel like this is also a show. Like personally, I watch this with my sister and my dad and like, we love it so much. So this is one of those, things where I feel like, you know, when you have a show this broad is like, what does it feel like for you guys making these shows when there's a huge audience watching it and relating to it? And, you know, especially those actual nuggets that are something that you can relate to, not the action sequences. We don't all just drive off cliffs <laughs> like, like Jack yeah. does. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, it's a pleasant surprise. I think you could just ease, just as easily make it all action packed, all gun toting and, and it would still do well, but mm -hmm. these, these moments, these slices of life really being folded in and, you know, you, you, you create a, bigger, fuller character with all of them. And that, and I think that's so rewarding for me as an audience member. That's what I want to see. I want to see yeah. the entirety of a human being, not just them flying off a building. Yeah. And Abby, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to come back this season. And so I'm wondering, what was that like? Was it like coming for like a school reunion? Was it just like coming back? Like, was it 
Because I feel like a lot of elements have changed. Also, the production was higher. I feel like there was more, you know, going outside for shooting and stuff. So what was that like? Yeah, I mean, strangely enough, it felt very similar. Um, When we shot season one, we were in Montreal. So we had a Canadian crew and for season four, we're in Budapest with a Hungarian crew. So that that was a different experience for sure uh, behind the scenes. In terms of the show, everything felt very much the same. It, it's crazy to think that so much time has passed from 2017 to when we shot last year in 2022. I mean, it's wild, right? But, um, but yeah, it was sort of an easy thing to step back into in a way. Did each of you have a favorite moment uh, filming this season? And maybe even for both of you, maybe the entire series. Like, was there something that when you filmed it, you were like, oh, this is a very special show for me. Like, this is going to be something that goes with me wherever I go. I enjoyed just getting into the action a little bit. That was really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was, it was cool. Like, it felt like a big kid, you know. I got to do some of the stuff yeah. that, that the guys were doing, so that was fun. Yeah. I did not get to do any fun things, <laughs> yeah. but I, I do what I consider fun, uh, mm-hmm. especially this season was... Um, I got to, it was scary, but I got to walk into a room full of people as a Senate hearing room. Yeah. I gave, I gave this big, beautiful speech <laughs> and it's, it's really, I feel almost feel like there's a little, little badge of honor. It's invisible, but mm-hmm. it's like a little badge of honor accomplishment as an actor to do that, to just speak yeah. in a room full of people. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, before uh, I let you guys go, Abby, I know that we got to see, you know, Kathy really take off this season and we get to see more of also um, Wright coming into her own being that, you know, what what happens at the end, I'm not going to spoil it. But um, I'm wondering, do you think there's a possibility we could see your characters come back or maybe even a spinoff series with Michael Pena's character since he is one of the Clancy original uh, creations? Yeah, Would I'm you- not sure. I mean, there's so there's, there, there's so much content you know, in terms of, in terms of the, the Jack Ryan empire and also in terms of the characters. So I'm not sure where anything will end up, but it's fun and it's exciting and people, people love the show. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very excited about it, but thank you again. And on that note, I will say congrats and just express my gratitude for this show. It's great. And I'm so excited for everyone to see it. So thank you again. Thank you so much. 